with Thanksgiving just around the corner, I thought today would be a great day to talk about gratitude. So our manly chunks of wisdom today are all going to be quotes about gratitude. I'm looking forward to talking to you about this because I think one of the manliest things you can do is to be grateful for what you've got. And I think that gratitude can change us. So we're going to talk about that right here in just a minute. Are you ready to live life to the full? Are you ready to rise up and live a life of honor? Are you ready to boldly step into a life of courage? This is the Manlyhood Mancast. And here's your host, Josh Atcher. Gentlemen, welcome to the Manlyhood Mancast. I'm your host and the founder of the Manlyhood Movement. I'm Josh Hatcher, and I am really glad to be here with you today. Uh, I want to make that clear because I'm grateful for you. We're going to talk about gratitude in a minute. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, honestly. Uh, And it's not just about the turkey, but oh my gosh, I love turkey. (laughs) But the reason that Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday is because... It is a powerful thing for us to be grateful and thankful. And so we're going to get into some great manly chunks of wisdom and talk about that in just a minute. Gentlemen, if you have not yet signed up for our Christmas giveaway, I want you to go to manlyhood.com slash contests. Uh, we've got an amazing pack of handmade Christmas ornaments uh, that are made by my brother and his family. Uh, it's called Haven Designed. You can find them on Etsy under Haven Designed, on Instagram at haven.designed, and they're doing amazing work. Uh, carrying on, honestly, a family tradition of leather crafting that my father used to do and woodworking, which my father used to do, and their ornaments are gorgeous. And it's it's an heirloom. It's something that you'll pass down to your family. Or if you give it as a gift, it'll pass down to their family. So we've got an amazing selection of those for you. You can see them at, at our manlyhood.com slash contests page. If you go there and enter for the contest, you'll have a chance to win. We're going to be giving it away very, very, very soon. I can't wait to see who wins it. So today's episode, guys, like I said, Thanksgiving is my absolute favorite holiday. And... Uh, I think the biggest reason is just, like, if I look back on my life, yeah, those were the moments that our family was close. Uh, Sitting around the table, going after we eat, before dessert, we all go around and just talk about what we're thankful for. And sometimes there'd be lots of emotion. Somebody would cry as they were reflecting on how grateful they were. But I've learned in my life that if there's one force that can transform your life and make it better, it's gratitude. Gratitude. And so today's manly chunks of wisdom for you are quotes about gratitude. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus says, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. It is so easy to focus on everything you don't have. Just throw that out the window and focus on what you got. That's what matters. William Arthur Ward said, Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. So if you feel grateful, you need to make it a a discipline and a habit to tell people those things that you're thankful for. The people that you're thankful for. The things that you're thankful for. When you say it, write it down in your own journal if you don't want to say it to everybody, but say it because it's powerful. G.K. Chesterton said, I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. Gosh. That quote just blows my mind. Thanks are the highest form of thought. Gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. Yeah. And what's really cool about gratitude is there's feelings involved. But even if you don't feel it, you can make it 
you can just speak the things you're thankful for. Just that reflection of being grateful. Wow, powerful, man. There's a Buddhist proverb that says, enough is a feast. And I think there's something powerful there. I'm not a Buddhist, but I love it when there's a big hunk of truth in something. And there is some truth in that, man. Enough is a feast. Robert Quillen says, if you count all your assets, you will always show a profit. And I mean, I'm sure that mathematically and in terms of, you know, spreadsheets doesn't necessarily work that way. But man, if I can get my head and my heart to really recognize how good things are for me, yeah, that's good. Robert Brault says, enjoy the little things for one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. Hmm. Yeah. When I look back on those moments with my family, doing something that seemed like it meant nothing, those are my favorite moments. Those are the powerful moments. President John F. Kennedy says, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Yeah. Don't, on, don't only show your gratitude with your words, but actually, if you are thankful for something, how about you show it? If you have gratitude for something, live up to that gratitude. Treat that thing that you're grateful for like it actually means something to you. Charles Dickens, who we like to think about uh, around the holidays because he tends to write a lot of really good uh Holiday novels, right? <laughs> or at least at least uh, the Christmas Carol is, is etched in our memory. But he said this, Reflect upon your present blessings, of which every man has plenty, not on your past misfortunes, of which all men have some. Gosh, there's power in that mindset of what you think about. Like, we could all play the victim. We could all fall into that mentality that just looks at all of our hardships and trouble. And just moans and whines and suffers about them. You want to transform that when you find yourself feeling sorry for yourself? Start thinking about what you're grateful for. Eckhart Tolle says, Acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance. I mean, how many of us... That's what we all want, right? We all want to have more of something. We all want to have a life that's abundant, that has... Wealth that has happiness, that has everything we want, right? But it starts when you acknowledge the good that you already have in your life. Frank Clark says, if a fellow isn't thankful for what he's got, he isn't likely to be thankful for what he's going to get. You want to be thankful for something good that you want to get someday, start by being thankful for what you have. Gerald Good says, if you want to turn your life around, try thankfulness. It will change your life mightily. Melody Beattie says, Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion into clarity. It makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. I mean, yeah, that's amazing. Do not ever underestimate the power of gratitude. Michael Josephson says, The world has enough beautiful mountains and meadows, spectacular skies, and serene lakes. It has enough lush forests, flowered fields, and sandy beaches. It has plenty of stars and the promise of a new sunrise and sunset every day. What the world needs more of is people to appreciate and enjoy it. Hmm. This actually makes me think of something that I uh, have been experiencing lately. After getting my eyes fixed, uh, some of you know that I had cataracts, had cataract surgery. I'll go outside at night, and I don't need glasses other than reading glasses if I'm reading up close. Uh, but my whole life I've needed glasses, and I've had an astigmatism, which is corrected by the lenses they put in. And I'll go outside now at night, and my dad, when I was growing up, would always be like, look up at those stars, son. Be thankful that you live in a place where you can see stars because a lot of kids don't get to see them. And I'd look up and I'd see the stars, kind of. Now for the first time in my life, I can walk outside and look up at the stars and I can see them. 
Like not just like a few specks. Like I can see the Milky Way. I can see stars everywhere. Whereas before, it was kind of blurry. Even with glasses and my stigmatism and everything else, I couldn't see him. Now I can see him. There's something to be grateful for, man. I'll never forget my dad saying that to me. A lot of kids don't grow up being able to see the stars. And we grew up in the middle of nowhere, man. There's no city lights. There's no, you know, pollution, light pollution in the sky. And so we can actually see them. And I'm so grateful for that. Especially now that I can really see them. Fred DeWitt Van Amberg says, Gratitude is a currency that we can mint for ourselves and spend without fear of bankruptcy. Yeah, forget uh, Bitcoin and digital currency. How about you use gratitude? You can completely transcend the financial system. You can't ever go bankrupt with, with gratitude, and you can just keep printing more. There's no inflation. How awesome. Charles Schwab says, The way to develop the best that is in a person is by appreciation and encouragement. You want a person to become a better person? You want to, you know, basically practice leadership. The best thing you can do, if you see something in somebody that you know is good, that needs to be called out, show them appreciation and encouragement for that thing. Speak it out. And it is an investment in their life. It can transform their life. To say to your kids, I love you and I'm proud of you. Or to your friends who do something awesome. Say, I love you and I'm proud of you. And watch it change their life. I'm telling you what. This happened to where I called a buddy one day. Or I sent him a, I think I sent him a message and I just said, hey man, I just wanted you to know I love you and I'm proud of you. And at that moment, he was feeling at his lowest and he felt like a dirt ball. And he writes me back and he's like, hey, man, uh, why did you send that to me right now? And I said, I was just thinking about you and I wanted you to know. And it like this, this has radically transformed this guy's life. It let him know that somebody believed in him and he's made some changes that completely changed his life. All I did was say, I love you and I'm proud of you. I'm not taking credit for the change in his life because I didn't change anything. I couldn't do that. I couldn't make him quit drinking. I couldn't make him change his direction. I couldn't do that. But I could tell him that I love him and I'm proud of him. And what did it do? So you want to bring out the best in a person, start showing them appreciation and encouragement. Albert Schweitzer says, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us. Who in your life called you higher? Who in your life encouraged you, made you feel special? The gratitude to that person, yeah, we need to express that and pass it on. William James says, The deepest craving of human nature is the need to be appreciated. That's what you want. You want someone to appreciate you. And the people around you want to be appreciated. So start spreading it around, buddy. (laughs) Start spreading it around. Another quote from Buddha. Again, I mean, I'm not a Buddhist. I think that there's some really awesome truths that have made their way in through Buddhism. And I think they're worth looking at sometimes. Let us rise up and be thankful for if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little And if we didn't learn a little, at least we didn't get sick. And if we got sick, at least we didn't die. So let us all be thankful. (laughs) This just reminds me of the, but did you die? (laughs) From Ken Jeong. Um, Which is like a legitimate question. (laughs) Like, you got to be careful. Sometimes I'll play this game, the it could always be worse game. It helps me to be grateful for where I'm at and what I've got. Uh, Some people it doesn't help, but I'll just think, okay, you know what? The situation I'm in, it could be a whole lot worse, and I'll think about the things that could be worse. And it makes me feel better about my situation. (laughs) I think that's what this is. But I'd be careful doing that if you're a person that tends to 
to get morose and worry and ramp up your anxiety. It might not be a good idea to play that game, but if you've got those things under control pretty good, did you die? (laughs) Gertrude Stein says, silent gratitude isn't very much to anyone. And I, I want to really highlight that, guys. I know I've said it several times because these quotes, these manly chunks of wisdom are, are really good. And they're emphasizing a lot about how important it is to express that gratitude. Henri Frederic Amiel says, thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Thankfulness may consist merely of words, but gratitude is shown in acts. I like that he illustrates thanksgiving and thankfulness as one thing, and gratitude is when it goes from your thought or your words into actions. If you're truly grateful for the people in your life or the things in your life, how does that change the way you live? Ralph Waldo Emerson says, You cannot do a kindness too soon because you never know how soon it will be too late. I know that might not seem that it's about gratitude, but it is. Because the moments that we live in are temporary. You could die right now. Or now. Or now. (laughs) Hopefully you don't. (laughs) But you could. And if you haven't taken the time to show kindness, to express gratitude, you might not get another chance to do it. Willie Nelson said, when I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. Naomi Williams says, it is impossible to feel grateful and depressed in the same moment. It is impossible to feel grateful and depressed in the same moment. Which tells me that if I'm feeling depressed, there's an antidote. They've done studies, you guys. Gratitude rewires your brain. Anne Morrow Lindbergh says, One can never pay in gratitude. One can only pay in kind somewhere else in life. Which, to just be thankful for something, is not really a way to reward the person that's doing something for you. But if you're grateful, truly grateful, it'll come out in your actions. And it'll come out in other ways so that somewhere else in your life that gratitude is paid forward. Coach John Wooden says, Things turn out best for people who make the best of the way things turn out. That's good stuff, John Wooden. (laughs) Things turn out best for people who make the best of the way things turn out. Life is going to give you what life gives you. And I know you're all sick of the if life gives you lemons, make some lemonade joke, but eh, there's some truth in it. Be grateful for what you've got. Make that work. Make that happen. Alfred North Whitehead says, No one who achieves success does so without the help of others. The wise and confident acknowledge this help with gratitude. Success? Somebody helped you. If you're wise, you will. Reward that help with gratitude. Steve Maraboli says, forget yesterday. It's already forgotten you. Don't sweat tomorrow. You haven't even met. Instead, open your eyes and your heart to a truly precious gift today. Dietrich Bonhoeffer says, in ordinary life, we hardly realize that we receive a great deal more than we give. And that is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. Mike Erickson says, I truly believe we can either see the connections, celebrate them, and express gratitude for our blessings, or we can see life as a string of coincidences that have no meaning or connection. For me, I'm going to believe in miracles, celebrate life, rejoice in the views of eternity, and hope my choice choices will create a positive ripple effect in the lives of others. This is my choice. It's very true. How are you going to look at life? How are you going to view what happens to you? Is it all just random chance? Is it all just 
somebody tossing a dice and playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons with your life? Or is there things worth celebrating? Is there beauty worth being thankful for? Is there love? Is there miracles? Yeah. Let us choose to live a life of gratitude that demonstrates that. Stephen Richards says, Gratitude also opens your eyes to the limitless potential of the universe, while dissatisfaction closes your eyes to it. Robert Broth says, Gratitude and attitude are not challenges, they are choices. Tom Parada says, They both seem to understand that describing it was beyond their powers. The gratitude that spreads through your body when a burden gets lifted and the sense of homecoming that follows when you suddenly remember what it feels like to be yourself. Rahil Farouk says, Gratitude is more of a compliment to yourself than someone else. Yeah. Showing and expressing and living out that gratitude definitely says a lot about you. Tom Hopkins says, keep your eyes open and try to catch people in your company doing something right, then praise them for it. That's a great leadership tip. If you're a leader, if you're a supervisor or a manager or you own a business or you're whatever, you're, or your family, when people are doing something right, praise it, thank them for it, reward it. Rashid Oganlaru, I think that's how you pronounce that says, in life, one has a choice to take one of two paths, to wait for some special day or to celebrate each special day. Gentlemen, gratitude. Thanksgiving. We've got our Thanksgiving special coming up on Thanksgiving Day that we usually do, and I'm excited about that. I think that it's a great opportunity for us to do some pretty cool things, but I want you to be grateful. I want you to not make gratitude one day a year thing. Every day, list off some things that you're thankful for. Speak them out loud to the people that you're thankful for. And live like it matters that you're thankful for those things. I love you guys. I really do. And I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that you guys listen to this, that you tell people about it, that you interact with it. I'm thankful that these crazy random thoughts that pop in my brain and the conversations that I have with all kinds of people are helping you. I'm thankful that I get the chance to do it, that I have the skill set and the equipment to do it. I really am. And I'm thankful that you guys are the men that you need to be. And if that you're not yet what you want to be that you're still working on it i really am anyway guys curating chunks of manly wisdom that's what we're doing here and we're taking all that stuff from all those books and all those plays and all those speeches and we're condensing it that's what manly chunks of wisdom is all about if you want to get some chunks of wisdom that you can digest we've got a book for you if you go to manlyhood.com slash chunk, you can fill out a form there and you can download a free ebook that's got a lot of really good chunks of manly wisdom for you. Also, do not forget our Christmas contest, manlyhood.com slash contests for a chance to win uh, an amazing Christmas bundle put together by my brother, Jake Hatcher, and his family at Haven Designed. Let me say that again. Haven Designed. If you look them up on Instagram, it's haven.designed. And then their store on Etsy, if you look up Haven Designed, you can find their work. But please, make sure you enter that contest because this is amazing stuff. Uh, the work he's doing with wood and with leather, it's just, like, it's really manly Christmas ornaments, honestly. But women will like them too. <laughs> so make sure you enter for a chance to win that. Guys, I love you. I care about you. And I'll see you next time. If you want to be a better man, check out our website, manlyhood.com, for blogs, videos, and more from our Manlyhood team. Men, you can also join our private Facebook group, Manlyhood Man Cave, where you can meet up with a band of brothers who will challenge you and help you on your journey of manhood. This episode is produced by Hatcher Media for manlyhood.com. 
Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the show. Tune in again for more of the Manly Good Mancast.